Hello everyone, this is Divine Irony from Ghosts and Zio on my leveling channel again uh, for a two Feralas quests and the World of Warcraft part 52 of the of the Let's Play. Okay, that sounded really weird. I probably should have said that in a better, you know, proper sentence structure. Uh, what we're doing now is we're doing uh, two Feralas quests and the two quests we're doing are two quests for that goblin uh, by the port. We're, we're doing the fuel for zapping quests, which means we need to get uh, five water elemental cores. Now, these co uh, you can get these uh, from any of the sea elementals or sea sprays. Uh, they actually have a low drop chance. You'll have to kill quite a lot, quite a lot of these uh, water elementals. The lucky thing is, since they're water elementals and not fire elementals, uh, they're easier for me as a shaman to kill. Now, the other thing we're doing is we're doing the well, I don't know, because the quest isn't that, but what we're doing is we have to zap 15 of these giants. These, uh, they're elite, uh, they're elite level 48, 47, 49 mobs. Uh, if you were trying to kill them on your own, you would have trouble, so what you do is the goblin has given you a nice little item which miniaturizes them, which makes them small and non-elite. Uh, what this means is that you uh, loot miniaturization residue from them, uh, which is what the guy wanted, and we need to get, uh... I think 15 of them, so we need to zap 15 of these giants. Now the giants can either be found on the shore or underneath the water here. It doesn't really matter um, where you go, but uh, just to note, guys, there if there is more than one person doing this part of the area, or doing this quest in the area, usually the only mobs that would be available if you're trying to do the zapped quest would be under the water. Because for some reason people don't check underneath water, I don't know. They just run around like morons, running around not knowing where to go. So what we do is we just uh, we're just pulling these zap giants on the sea floor. Once we've killed all the ones on the sea floor, we'll go back up and farm some more water elementals. Okay, so I know that was just noises because I couldn't think of anything to say. So I'll just make noises. So okay, we got ten. Not to, we got ten miniaturization miniaturization residue now. We're pulling the sea elemental because we need five more cores. Uh, just a note guys, this is a very very good quest to do, I think it's perfect because the mobs aren't that hard, uh, it gives it a really nice chunk of experience once you're done, and uh, if, um, and we'll, f we'll find out after we do this quest, you can also repeat it and you will get experience, but uh, we're not going to repeat it because we don't want to do this again because it's boring. So. Uh, we're killing this zapped wave strider again now. Uh, we need to kill three more of them, so we're zapping them again. I've noticed the zapper has quite a long range, which I think is quite cool. Uh, but we've, uh, so we're slacking on the uh, water cores now, so let's kill a few more to get some cores. Um, I've noticed that the sea spray has a slightly lower chance of getting the cores from them. Um, but not, there isn't that much difference in them, they, and you can't really tell whether it's a sea spray or sea elemental until usually it's too late, so it doesn't really matter each way. The sea elementals will only uh, melee, and the sea sprays will only cast, I think, but I think the sea sprays also have a mana bar, so when they run out of mana, they will uh, cast. But they will not, they'll uh, melee instead of casting. Okay, so we're pulling a few more of these water elementals again. Uh, you also get some enchanted water, which is a mana drink. This it's not that higher level mana drink, so it's a good idea just to vendor them anyway. Uh, if we're doing if you're doing the shaman quest, where we uh, keep an elemental water uh, element of water, uh, you'll understand why in videos later. I didn't keep an elemental water. I probably should have because uh, there was a shaman quest that needed it. Um, but you'll find that out in a later video because uh, I'll put that up anyway. Uh, I don't know what I was saying. Okay, we got uh, we've complete we've got all 15 of the miniaturization residue now, and we just need to kill a few more of these uh, water elementals to get the core. Then we can hand it in to the goblin. Okay, we probably should have uh, looted that before trying to mount up, but uh, yeah, let's hand in the quest to the goblin. As you see, we'll get quite a nice chunk of experience here. Yep, see, we got uh, four. Uh, 15k for both quests, which I thought was good. As you notice, you can do the quests again, uh, but if you do the quests again, you have to kill five less zap giants, and I think it's five less cores, but not really sure. Uh, we're going to pick up a lot of these quests here on the Feather Moon Stronghold. 
Uh, we've got another candy bucket. Yes, this is still footage from Halloween. I'm sorry, guys. I really have not had time to uh, narrate that much. Well, mostly because I was really ill. And I'm not going to say any more about that because I'm sure you're tired of hearing it. And the reason my pitch of my voice changed because it was yawning while talking. So I probably should have yawned and then talked. But never mind. Just, okay, we're handing this crest this guy here. He wants us to locate a courier's boat. We won't be doing that in this video. I'm not sure, though. I, we might. Uh, probably should know this beforehand. We're putting all the quests on tracking now, and what we're doing is we're doing the Ruins of Salassal quest, where we need to find a gazebo in here uh, and search the ruins for any new structures. Here's a new structure. And we're going to kill this uh, hate quest Naga first before um, we accept the quest. Uh, once we've done that, uh, once we've clicked that uh, gazebo, we need to run back to the Fevermoon Stronghold. Uh, it's not that long a run because the, this is just the same island. Uh, it's the Sado Island. You can actually, it's it's a really small island anyway. Uh, let's let's we hand in the quest here, and we need to hand in the quest to that guy. Talk to this guy again, and what he wants us to do is to get ten hit hit crest and Naga scale, which means we'll be killing Naga. And in this video, from now on, we will be just killing Naga. Uh, but the good thing is, the Naga are low level, level 42, compared to our level, which means that they die almost instantly, as you notice here. Boom, 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 boom. Easily quick. Really awesome. Okay, we got two Naga Crest uh, scales already. I've noticed that the uh, sp um, the drop chance of the Naga Crest is actually quite high. Uh, every two to three mobs, you'll get a Naga scale, which I think is awesome, which means we have to kill less Naga. Because, uh... I don't know. I just don't like killing Naga for some reason. Maybe it's because uh, at lower levels the Nag casters can be a real pain because they kill you really quickly. I remember when playing a warrior, my first character on WoW, uh, I was in complete vendor gear. Uh, so the Nag casters would actually beat me one to one, uh, and I got so pissed off that I actually quit the game until I re until and I played it started again. I think five months later, saw how a complete idiot I was. And uh, actually bought some per gear instead of vendor gear. Because, as everyone knows, the first thing you do when you start the game is... Oh my god, if it has more armor, it's better. Because that's how what, what I thought at the beginning. We probably weren't that much... You, you guys probably weren't that much noobs, though. Yeah, because... Uh, I also thought the need before greed system meant if you needed... Uh, it was... If it was... Uh, you, should, you needed to need... Before greed, because greed meant you were selfish, and I thought it was something kind of. So I never clipped greed because they didn't want to seem selfish. Yeah, I know, it was funny. And it, it's just funny what people who don't know how to play the game do. They probably should put that into tutorial, put that into tutorial or, some, or something. Because uh, how is it? How is a person new to the game gonna know that? Because I mean, the need before greed system isn't really that clear. So we hand in this quest here to uh, this guy here, and we're gonna to and. Uh, he gets. He tells us to do a quest called against Lord Shalzaru, which means we have to kill. Uh, yeah, Lord Shalzaru, uh, which is a Naga on the opposite island, just uh, south of the Fevermoon Stronghold. Now, what we're doing is we're doing the uh, the missing courier quest, which means we are we are we are in on our airlock now, we're using water walking, and we're patrolling the. Um, the coast because this is on, because this is found on the coast. Uh, it can be found at random points across the coast. I I don't know. It it's it either changes this place or it's not that clear where it is. So you need to watch this because it's not clear on the map uh, where the where the missing boat and courier are. I think we found it. Yes, we have. Okay, it's a there's a piece of loot right there. As you notice, there was just a box. That was the entire quest. Uh, that was the quest giver there. That, that box. And he wants us to do a uh, boat wreckage, which means we need to talk, go back to the Feathermoon Stronghold. But we're not going to do that yet, because we're going to run over the um, the fatigued sea now, and down towards this island, which is called... Tell me what this island is called, please. Okay, it isn't going to tell me what this island is called. But anyway, what we're doing is we have to go into this Naga-infested cave and kill Lord Shalzaru, which is a Naga Lord. So we're going to be killing even more Naga. Yeah, even more hate crest. Let's go in here. Surprising enough, these these Naga are actually easier than the Naga on the uh, on the island, which I think is really funny. Okay, so we're going to fight our way all the way into this cave. 
but since uh, the video is almost finished guys we will not be killing Lord Salzaru in this video. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked the video and I hope to see you in part 53.